hi and welcome to my channel today we're talking about the past and present leaders of nigeria between the years 1914 to this present year 2022 if you truly want to understand the history of the past nigerian leaders their date of birth and terms in office I strongly advise that you watch this video to the end. Enjoy. Between 1914 and 1919, Lord Frederick Lugard served as the first Governor General of Nigeria. Lord Lugard, as is um, often referred to, was born in Madras, India, but raised in Worcester, England. Lord Lugard, like his father, was a soldier, a mercenary, an African explorer, and a colonial governor for the British government. In Nigeria, he is well known for founding the Northern Provincial Administration and the 1914 Amalgamation. After Lord Lugard came Hall Clifford, who became Nigeria's second governor general from 1919 so 1925. Clifford was born in Borough of Roehampton, London. His father served in the British Army as a general. Clifford intended to join his father, Henry Hawk Clifford, in the army, but eventually ended up in the civil service with the support of his uncle. He is a man who is well known and has a lot of schools in Malaysia named after him, including the Clifford School. Sir Hawk Clifford is well known in Nigeria for introducing the electoral concept. Graham Thompson was Nigeria's state governor general who served at the Admiralty as a British government servant from 1925 until 1931. In 1900, he opted to enter the civil service after attending Winchester and New College, Oxford. Sir Graham Thompson is best known today for imposing a task on Nigerians, which resulted in the 1929 Abba Women's Riot. Donald Cameroon was Nigeria's fourth governor general from 1931 until 1935. Donald Cameroon was a civil servant, although he never attended a university. He only had his primary school education at Ratmine School in Dublin. And according to reports, Sir Donald Cameroon was the second British governor to be appointed to the Tanganyika and then to Nigeria due to his prestige. Bernard Bodilon was Nigeria's fifth governor general from 1935 to 1943. Bodilon was born in England and raised in South Africa. He attended Tonbridge School in Tonbridge, Kent. Between the years 1932 and 1935, he served as the British colonial administrator of Uganda, and from 1935 to 1943, he served as the British colonial administrator of Nigeria. Sir Bernard Bodilon was, is well known in Nigeria for dividing the country into three provinces, which includes the western, eastern, and northern provinces, respectively. Sir Arthur Richard was Nigeria's sixth governor general from 1943 to 1948. He did not, however, function as a colonial administrator exclusively in Nigeria. He was also the colonial administrator to North Borneo, Gambia, Fiji, and Jamaica. Sir Arthur Richard was born in 1885. 
In 1907, he graduated from Clifton College in Bristol and Christ Church, Oxford, with a bachelor's degree. Arthur Richards is well known in Nigeria for uniting the North and South under a single legislative body. The seventh governor general was Sir John Macpherson, who grew up in Edinburgh and went to George Watson's college and later proceeded to the University of Edinburgh. Macpherson joined the Malayan civil service after World War II and became known as Sir Macpherson. The Sir Macpherson constitution is an important one in Nigeria because it was the first time that Nigerians were consulted during the formulation of the constitution. James Robertson was Nigeria's eighth and last governor general from 1954 to 1960, succeeding John McPherson. He was sent to Nigeria to represent the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, as head of state as a result of his excellent performance in previous offices. He attended Edinburgh's Merchiston Castle School and later proceeded to Oxford's Balliol College. He continued to work on his law degree until 1961. This brought an end to colonial rule in Nigeria as Nigeria gained their independence on October 1st, 1960. And Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe served as Nigeria's first ceremonial president and head of state from 1960 until 1966. Dr. Azikiwe was a man of great knowledge. He went to Howard University, Lincoln University, and the University of Pennsylvania to further his education. He is regarded as one of the nation's driving force. He is also renowned as the father of Nigerian nationalism. Just like Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe, Alaji Sa Abubakar Tafawa Balewa was Nigeria's, Nigeria's first prime minister and head of government at the same time. He served from 1960 until 1966. Abubakar Tafawa Balewa received his education at Barewa College and University College London, respectively. Before becoming prime minister, he was the Minister of Works and later appointed Minister of Transport. When Nigeria gained her independence in 1960, Alaji Sa Abubakar Tafawa Balewa was appointed as the country's first Prime Minister and Head of Government. He is also regarded as one of the driving factors for the country's independence. Nigeria's first Head of State and military leader was Major General JTU Agui Ironsi. Between January 15, 1966 until July 29, 1966, Agui Ironsi attended primary and secondary schools in Umwaya and Kano State, respectively. He enlisted in the Nigerian Army at a young age of 18. In 1960, he was awarded a gallantry medal by the Austrian government for his assistance in rescuing an Austrian ambulance team that had been captured and imprisoned by Congolese authorities. After General JTU Agui Ironsi came General Yakubu Gowan, who became the next military head of state from July 29, 1966 until July 29, 1975. General Yakubu Gowan Hayes from Plateau State, Nigeria. He was Nigeria's youngest military chief of staff and the country's commander throughout the horrific civil war which claimed the lives of millions of Nigerians. Another renowned military head of state in Nigeria was General Maritola Ramad Mohammed. Maritola Mohammed was born into a Fulani ruling class family in Kano State. Before attending the Royal Military College, Sandoz, he attended Sikingida 
secondary school, and in 1958, Maritola Mohamed enlisted in the Nigerian army. But he was assassinated in office in the year 1976. General Olusegun Obasanjo was Nigeria's military president from February 13, 1976 until October 1, 1979. Obasanjo was schooled at Abeokuta and was born in the hamlet of Ibogun, Olaogun. In terms of ideology, he is regarded as a Nigerian nationalist. This is why he turned up authority to Alaji Shehu Aliyu Usman Shagari's civilian administration. After a series of military coups, Alaji Shehu Aliyu Usman Shagari was elected president of Nigeria. He was in power from October 1, 1979 until December 31, 1983. Prior to becoming president, Shagari worked as a teacher. In 1951, he became the secretary of the Northern People's Congress in Sokoto State, Nigeria. Alaji Shagari died on the 29th, on the 28th of December 2018 at the age of 93. Not long after Alaji Shehu Ali Usman Shagari death, Major General Muhammad Buhari staged the coup and became President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from December 31, 1983 until August 27, 1985. Buhari was the General Officer Commanding at the time, GOC. He enlisted in the Nigerian Army and later enrolled at the Nigerian Military Training College in 1962. General Muhammad Buhari claims to have changed his mind and is now a staunch advocate of democracy. General Buhari is one of Nigeria's presidents who have been fighting corruption since 1960, according to reports, and is yet to win the fight against corruption. General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, commonly known as IBB, was born in Mina, Niger State on the 17th of August, 1941. While in Kaduna, he enrolled in the Nigerian Military Training College, now known as the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna. Babangida was a prominent planner of military coups in Nigeria, according to reports. From August 27, 1985 to August 25, 1993, IBB served as president of Nigeria. After Babangida came Ernest Shoneka, who became the next president of Nigeria from August 25, 1993 until November 17, 1993. It didn't seem to last long in control. According to history, Chief Ernest Shoneka was Nigeria's first lawyer and businessman to rise to power. He even served as the chairman of the well-known United Africa Company of Nigeria. General Sani Abacha was Nigeria's military head of state from November 17, 1993 until June 8, 1998. Abacha was born and raised in the Nigerian state of Kano. Before joining the Nigerian military, he attended the Mons officer Cadet School in Adashaw, England. General Sani Abacha was the first Nigerian to achieve the rank of full military general without missing a single level, according to reports, as this demonstrates his commitment to the army. But General Sani Abacha died in 1998. General Abdul Salami Abubakar, commonly known as A.A. Abubakar, rose to power after Abasha passed from June 8, 1998 until May 29, 1999. He was the military ruler of Nigeria. Abubakar was born in 1942, 
Before attending Kaduna Technical College, he attended Authority Primary School from 1950 to 1956. During his stay in Nigeria, Abubakar worked with both the Nigerian Air Force and the Nigerian military, according to reports. It is well known that he was honored with the Defense Service Medal. As a result, he received the title of Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, GCFR, which happens to be Nigeria's highest military honor. On May 29, 1999, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo became Nigeria's president under a civilian administration. Please note that this is the second time Obasanjo is leading the nation. First, he was a military leader and now, under a civilian administration, is the president of Nigeria. So Obasanjo was president from May 29, 1999 until May 29, 2007. After Chief Olusegun Obasanjo came Umaru Musa Yaradua, who became Nigeria's president. From the 29th of May 2007 until he passed on the 5th of May 2010, Yaradua was born in the Nigerian city of Kasina in the year 1953. He attended Barewa College and Amadou Bello University, both in Nigeria. Prior to becoming president, he served as a two-term governor of Kasina State from 1999 until 2007. Good luck, Jonathan became president of Nigeria from the 9th of February 2010 to the 29th of May 2015 after serving as vice president under Umaru Musa Yaradua. He did, however, act for Yaradua until May 5th, 2010. He was formerly the deputy governor of Bayelsa State, but became acting governor after the acting after the governor was impeached for illegal and charges of corruption. Goodluck Jonathan had a modest profile as vice president under Umaru Musa Yaradua until his election as president following the death of President Umaru Musa Yaradua. After losing the general election in 2015, he was appointed head of the newly formed International Summit Council for Peace, IS. CP. Nigeria's current president is Muhammadu Buhari, who took over office from Goodluck Jonathan on the 29th of May 2015 and is still the president of Nigeria to this day, 2022. However, it is important to note that President Buhari attempted, attempted general elections in 20. 2003, 2007, and 2011, before winning the 2015 general election. In 2019, he beat Atiku Abubakar by over 3 million votes, thereby re-electing him as Nigeria's president for another four years, which is a second term. And President Muhammad Buhari, as I'm making this video, is still the president of Nigeria, although his term in office will end on the 29th of May, 2023. So far, these are Nigeria's leaders from 1914 to the present year, 2022. If you like and enjoyed this video and have any comments or questions regarding Nigeria's past leaders from 1914 to the present year, 2022. Please use the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye.